Hello, I'd like to introduce you to Aurora's Atlas mobile integration work order management platform for IBM's Maximo enterprise asset management product. Atlas is a module based work order management solution that really works out of the box with uh, any kind of Maximo implementation. Five of the six modules are based in an app that lives on a tablet or phone, and the sixth application or module called Atlas Request is a web-based work request tool that works seamlessly with Maximum. And so let's get started here. I'm going to show you uh, how Request works, and then we'll get into the actual Atlas application. So let me share my screen. Fantastic. So Request is a QR code-based work request module. So I scan the QR code. And you can see here on my screen that we have a login. You have the capability of having this be single sign-on, user ID, username, email address, however you want. We just have a very simple code. Uh, the, the color scheme, the logos, everything can be white labeled to the end user, uh, what their organization is. I hit sign in as public requester. And this is a demo uh, version of Atlas request, but each of these tiles is completely configurable by the end user. And so let's just say, for instance, um, this QR code is located in a restroom. I click on restroom. And so what are we capturing here? We're capturing the critical information. And so uh, if you want to QR, if you want to geolocate that QR code, you have the capability of doing that. We're capturing the day and the time. Uh, exactly what needs, you know, what's going on here. All these questions uh, you can configure yourself. Uh, if you want to ask about a specific asset, maybe a, a flush valve, or you just want it to be a little bit more generic, like you see here. Uh, so let's just say, hey, I need, uh, there's no paper towels. I need that to be replaced. Um, at this point, I, I would hit submit, and it would submit itself into uh, the work request uh, portion of Maximo, where you can either set up a workflow that, that just flows that to the correct team, or it can um, sit in a, in a queue and have somebody from leadership or somebody from scheduling and planning um, say, yes, this is real, and let's get the right team uh, set up for that. So let me move you over to the actual Atlas module. So we can see here um, the, the, the standard modules that, that everybody starts off with are, are fix and inspect modules. Fix is the work order module. Inspection is the inspection module. And so what we see here today is uh, our inspection module, one of the standard applications, uh, inspection applications for an airport is uh, the daily part 139 inspection. Uh, this is an FAA required inspection. And so uh, this is what we have queued up today to show you exactly how this works. And so I start off by just clicking on uh, daily airfield inspection and hey, I wanna start my inspection. So I hit start. First thing you'll see here is a, a, a pop-up box that uh, begins to capture my labor, right? So one of the nice features of Atlas is uh, it, it works as um, a labor capture tool. So I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to pull up the individual, uh, all the information on this specific inspection. So you can see here on the right hand side, I have all of the individual tasks that compromise um, this part 139 inspection. We can configure this for say a life safety inspection or a perimeter security inspection, really any kind of inspection that you need uh, to execute at your airport or, or inside of your organization. So one of the great things about Atlas is it's very map, very location heavy. And so, uh, you know, task number one, paved 305 paved areas. So let's just say that I have to inspect this individual runway here. So you can see here, I pulled up the map. I can now turn on a layer. So I'm walking down or driving down the uh, the runway here, and I see that a light is out. Well, obviously part of this is for me to say, yes, you know, it's my task number five lighting. Yes, I see, you know, even though I'm inspecting pave areas, I see that a light is out. Okay, I need to report this as a finding. So all I have to do now is click on an individual light. Uh, Atlas is fully integrated with the geospatial information system. So you can see here the light that I clicked on 
is uh, pulling from an Esri geometry point. And really what's important here is you see all of the individual asset data that gets pulled from the system. So in other systems, in, in, in past technologies, this information actually has to be entered in some way, shape, or form. That adds a tremendous amount of time and a tremendous amount of data entry uh, you know, onto the technician's shoulders. All we have to do here now with Atlas is click on Add Finding. And you'll see here, okay, we, we now have a finding in this inspection. What do we have to do? Well, the beautiful thing about Atlas is, and you heard me say it earlier, one of the pieces of competitive advantage that we think we have is the lack of data entry necessary for the technician. This is a very technician-friendly application. So all the areas in gray, that's information we're pulling from backend system. That's what we're pulling from Maximo. So all that technician has to enter is something in the description field. And one of the beautiful additions we've made to Atlas is we've actually enabled speech to text. So even though I just typed that in, um, the, the, the technician in the middle of the airfield, you know, middle of the night, middle of the day, whenever they're doing the inspection, can just speak into their phone or their tablet. Uh, I can demarcate what kind of discrepancy this is. You see that I, ch I chose it as a 139. If it's significant enough that a, a NOTAM or a notice to airman needs to be produced, we have that capability. If I click on that, it'll ask for a NOTAM number and we go from there. Um, the status is, is finding or complete, and I'll explain what that here means here in a second. This white box over to the right, uh, you actually have the ability to attach an image or attach images to this. Um, I don't necessarily need to do that, but again, we can see exactly, if I click on the map function, exactly where this is occurring. If this was an actual live uh, instance of Atlas, you would actually see the blue dot um, where, where, you know, where I am in the world standing next to the light that is broken. So we are capturing all this information. And so let's say it's significant enough that uh, somebody actually has to come out and repair this. Um, which we obviously would want to do with it with a, an airport or air airfield light that's out. So I just click on the follow up button here and now we've started um, a follow up work order. So you can see it's pulling all of that information. From the finding already pulling it forward, I can set the priority. And again, this is determined by your back end Maximo system, the type of, uh, of work type again, determined by your back end Maximo system. And then all I have to do as the inspector is, hey, who needs to take care of this? Uh, it's airside operations. Yes, I'm going to do that. And all I do at this point is hit save. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I put in a finding. That finding was significant enough for me to need to put in a work order. I put in the work order. And now you can see these gray hash marks means I need I just need to sync and then it pushes all that information back to Maximo to then be assigned to the proper work team. Uh, if I have multiple people on my inspection crew, I have the ability to put in more than one person's uh, labor. And then uh, the work log field here is just a, is a free text field. If I need some, you know, to put in a few more notes or something, uh, you know, that that really indicates that, hey, something else additionally needs to be done here. That's what the work log field is ready to do. And so that is the inspection module. Let me work order, uh, move over to the work order module. It wants to sync, it has not synced yet. So Atlas does work uh, online and offline. Uh, we do recommend uh, using a tablet with Atlas. Uh, we know that you know sometimes organizations have that question between phone and tablet. Um, because this is so map based, because it's so location heavy, you know, typically the maps on a phone tend to be very small or you have to do a lot of kind of side and up and down scrolling. Uh, so we do recommend uh, a tablet. Atlas works on either iOS or Android. Um, and then the size of the tablet, the robustness of the tablet is completely up to you. Uh, but it does work with with both of those those operating systems. So if I click on the hamburger menu here. And I go over there, it's going to say, hey, don't leave yet. We haven't finished your inspection labor. That's what we're doing here. So I hit OK. And now I'm moving over to the work order module. So you can see here, as I'm because we're so heavily location based, as I click on the different work orders, it is showing me where they exist on the actual airfield or inside of the terminal, right? So we have this, so you can see we're moving around a bit here. 
light out, please repair, so on and so forth. So let's get into one of these work orders here. It works very similar to how it works on the inspect. This is the fix module. So let's get into one of these here. I just hit start work order. It captures, it begins to capture my labor. And you can see a very similar type screen. And so this is the task list that this individual airport has built out for this particular type of work order. It's not super detailed. You, uh, depending on your work plan, your maintenance plan, uh, if that's built out in Maximo, we can pull that forward into, into Atlas, and you can make it as specific as you'd like. Um, and again, you know which, you know which tasks do you absolutely have to have that technician complete to make sure that that individual work order, that individual problem they've gone out to fix, uh, has been completed. So again, this is. Uh, they're, you know, they're asking for specific information here, measurement values, readings, measurement dates, so on and so forth. We do have the, uh, the capability of doing continuous meters in Atlas. Um, so, you know, these are things that, that you have the capability of doing with this solution. If we do, uh, Atlas does have the supply module. Uh, so if you are using uh, Maximo's inventory features, we actually do have the ability uh, to connect to the, to the inventory module. If there's specific materials, tools, whatever it might be, you can see the status. Hey, do I have this in stock? Do I not have this in stock? And so um, it really gives a lot of power to the technician to say, hey, I can or cannot complete this work order based on the materials that are in the warehouse or in the shop or wherever, you know, wherever you're, you're tracking that inventory, you have the capability of seeing that here. If there's any kind of failure reporting that needs to happen, um, again, we have that capability. Same thing with maintenance codes. You heard me say um, labor. Uh, if I say I'm a, a, on a concrete passion crew and there's three of us, um, not every single person needs to have Atlas. Uh, me as the foreman can enter their individual labor for that particular work order. And then the work log again is uh, kind of a free text field for that team to be able to put in any additional notes that they might need for that, uh, for that work order. So the last thing I'll show you here before I let you go is similar to the inspection module. I can say I'm driving down a taxiway, runway, some other place. I see something wrong. A light is out. A sign is not working, whatever it might be. You can do a very similar thing in the work order module. So, hey, I'm driving on this. This runway light is out. I just tap on it. It'll pull all that information forward from in this case is coming from Esri. And on the invent or on the inspection module, you saw create a finding on the work order module. You actually are able to create a, a direct work order. And so do I want to sign it to myself or a different team? No, I don't want to sign it to myself. And so you can see here, it's pulling forward um, the, the capability of putting in a new work order. So again, I'm putting in that a light is out. You, again, you do have the ability to speech to text this, so there actually is zero data entry. Um, you know, what's the priority? What needs to happen here? And again, the only thing that I need to do is assign it to a work group. And once I hit save, now I've just pushed a work order back into the Maximo system, uh, depending on how you have uh, your workflow set up, it can immediately go to the correct group or it goes to your planner schedule leadership um, to say, yes, this is a valid work order. Let's go forward. So thank you for spending the time of, uh, of looking at our Atlas system. My name is Brian Benedict. I'm the development director for uh, EDI, uh, the uh, an Aurora company. And I am happy to do an individual demo for, of Atlas for you at any time. And I very much appreciate your time today. Thanks and have a great day.